Hi and welcome to RC Cocktail Lab. Today I want to share three tips with you I got from the very first moment, even before I bought a helicopter, because I was reading a lot. I was reading pages from um, John Saul, for instance, RC Copter Fun, uh, not Love, Love. <laughs> and um, he wrote in one of the first articles that you should buy a programmable radio. But he was honest and was writing, it can be very confusing in the beginning. And I am a guy, I'm not the youngest, I'm, I had now the uh, 63rd um, birthday uh, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, and uh, I'm really not a fan of smartphones, I'm not a fan of computers, and when I heard all this programming, I thought, no, uh, this would kill maybe my fun. So I went for an RTF, ready to fly, a very simple OMP Hobby T6 transmitter. I bought the OMP M2 Explorer. I had to open the box. I took out this machine. I connected the battery, switched on. That was even I was able to do this. Switched on the transmitter. It made beep 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 beep, and everything was bound. So I was able on the first day to fly with my Explorer. It was fantastic. I had some weeks, I don't know, six, eight weeks experience with the Blade 230, um, also with an RTF transmitter, but this was awful, this machine, and suddenly I could do things I could never do, and I made the progress, the progress of three months or two months with this Blade in two days with the OMP, so I was happy. And this phase was I was even developing some solutions very funny. Uh, I had an egg watch for using for using in the kit, kitchen to boil eggs, um, uh, um, weak eggs, and I was using this as a timer, and I was really happy for two years. But then, on Christmas 2021, uh, 2022. I saw the first pictures of parts of the M4. It would have been a very big helicopter, much bigger than my M1 and M2, and I somehow fell in love with this. Hmm. I saw these parts, I saw these blades, I saw different things. Jonas Wackershauser was so uh, uh, mean to uh, put some parts on a Christmas tree, and we. I was very uh, excited about this. And in the beginning of 2023, I thought I will go for it. And it was time to say goodbye to this T6 and say hello to this Radio Master. So I bought my first programmable radio from Radio Master with Edge TX, and I had no idea what to do with this thing. I had no idea how to program it, and I found heaven sent me my good friend Matthias. He was taking himself one whole weekend to set up all my eight models I had in this moment. Or, yeah, it was eight because I was setting up already the M4, although I didn't have it, but I knew I kept it. And um, when I took up my M2 machine the first time with this new transmitter, I took it up and it, it was shaking like a drunken sailor or something like, like somebody who has really problems to stand. And I was wondering because I was not aware that I was giving some stick inputs. So I saw that even the smallest movement I did were directly transmitted to the helicopter. So it was directly, uh, directly re reacting. And I was flying uh, moves I did not, I, I did not really uh, notice. I was not aware that I was doing them because two weeks ago I was flying for fun. Once again, I was plugging out the satellite from my, from my uh, M2 and I was binding it once again to this T6 transmitter and I was seeing I could steer around the sticks and nothing would happen. So the, the helicopter was standing. So I was seeing at once from the first, very first flight with this transmitter that there was much more precision and I needed really two or three batteries to get used to it and later I began to love it. 
I had the feeling I could do everything I wanted. I had the feeling the helicopter is a piece of chalk, like it was used in the school, and I would steer it, or I would ride with it on a blackboard. The, the, the sky was the blackboard, my helicopter was the chalk, and this was fantastic. And all was caused by the decision to go for such a big machine. I wanted to do it, no matter if I had to go out of my comfort zone, I did it. I built my first kit, it was the M4. Now my second build was the M4 Max. I did it and it was really easy to build it. But the setup in the first time, again, my friend Matthias was helping me. But now with this one, with the M4 Max, I did it all by myself. So. Uh, Within half a year I had so much more experience and Matthias was giving me such great descriptions that I was able to do it by myself. And now I'm really happy because when you build a kit you understand everything connected with helicopters much better because you are really, you are building every screw, you are mounting every screw, you are, every single part is your work. And doing this for the second time you really understand how helicopters work and this is always good. I will never be a guy who, who, who wants to build as many as possible kits because I just do it because I want to fly with them, that's honest. Um, but that were the first two tips. So <clears throat> this was giving me a lot of experience. <coughs> Sorry. But the biggest improvement gave me tip number three, it is the simulator. From the very first moment, people told me, buy yourself a simulator. You will profit from this like you will never do in 10 years of flying. And it's true. I bought a simulator, connected it with my loved radio, and you will see how this works. Okay, now let's go to see how the simulator works. I'm trying to get inverted. I'm inverted, but I'm all over the place. So I was going inverted with a backflip and going out of inverted with a roll. But you see, I have much too much movement. Now I'm going with a backflip out of inverted and you can do this really without risk. I can let the machine sink now without big risk. Backflip out of the inverted, now into inverted with a roll. With a backflip out of inverted and now the machine is too far away. Ah, but we can make a loop towards us. Or this was a rather backflip. Now let's do a loop. Loop toward us. Too slow. But I can do also a roll and try to get inverted in a roll. You see, I'm trying to make as many as possible maneuvers, half rolls, Going with the front flip out of the inverted, going with the roll into inverted. Now I'm still trying a mistake and uh, error and, and trial to control the machine. Going again, again upright and bringing this beautiful raw 700 towards me. And I can try to make with the with the front flip go inverted. Oops. So you can do everything. I can even try to make some kind of rainbow. And this was not good. So you see, you can do as many crashes as you want. You can try 
to make flips much lower than you would do it ever on the field. So I would never do it so low. But in the simulator it's possible. A roll low over the field? Possible. <laughs> okay, this was RC Coptela. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please give us a like. If you like it very much, subscribe to our channel. And I wish you that you follow these tips. I followed them too late, but it's never too late. You see, now I have a lot of fun with it. Outside it's raining, here I'm flying. Okay, see you again. Bye bye.